Let's jump into the paint tools here. Uh, I'm going to create a whole new layer. I'm going to create actually a bump map um, layer under my paint layers there. And then we'll go into the paint tool tray. So we're just creating a default uh, empty bump map layer. And we can just start with the simple paintbrush here. Uh, I have the color just up solid black, which is fine. Um, and of course, we're working with black and white values essentially here um, in, in the basics of the bump map here. So with the black, I'm going to get some nice carving in of some crack details. So let's work with our paintbrush. Let's bring the brush down to something quite, uh, quite a bit tight in there. What kind of fall off are we working with here? Let's work with something maybe a little bit sharp. Uh, maybe something like this will do. And we have this nice kind of small brush in here. And just to see what we're getting right off the bat, um, you can see that we can start to get these nice kind of crack effects happening. And we can paint a lot of these in by hand and uh, get these crack effects. And that's that's great. We can start working with that. We can come out onto these big um, sort of rocks here and really start to carve those in. I have my strength down quite low. Um, if we really wanted to get some big heavy detail we can of course crank that up and you can see that that's providing the um, a nice amount of detail uh, for what we want to work with here and this especially comes in handy when we get onto the face start really cracking up that face a bit there right and working in some of these cracks um, along here you can see a sculpted crack detail there And we can work some of these in here um, and just keep going along. Now, this is, of course, just hand painting, uh, putting in some custom cracks, which is important. You want to be able to uh, define exactly the way you want your cracks or your details to look on uh, the character. And, of course, we can go ahead and use um, some different effects, some stencils, for example. So I'm just going to use the paintbrush. And in the stencil tray, I have this nice uh, kind of crack, kind of grimy stencil here that I grabbed from the Mudbox community. Um, if definitely, once again, I have all these rock textures, cracks, different stamps and stencils. Go into the Mudbox community and just do a search for things like cracks. There is a search box there. So we're going to work with this uh, crack and uh, kind of grime map, which will give us some nice effect on our stone here. So I'm working with the paintbrush on this, and what I want to be able to do is rub this detail um, over top of everything here. I'm just going to use this kind of default soft fall off on here. Um, this paint layer has some um, previous cracks on there. Let's just throw down a whole new new layer on that. And the idea behind this with my paintbrush, I am using a solid black color and that's going to grab the white detail out of this here. Essentially the white detail is what go I'm going to transfer the black paint through. Um, it's probably an easy way to think of it. And uh, we can start to paint that detail on here. So let's adjust this map over top of an area here. So we have these little kind of tendril vines that we can define further, but for now let's fill up this rock area with some of this grime. And we'll just place some of these details in here. Again, I can adjust the strength of the brush and I can certainly do that later with the opacity of my layer. So we can come in here and rather quickly fill in some of these these areas here with some of these little kind of um, cracks and little um, details and things like that and start putting some more crack detail and things into here just to fill up that area. And again, the idea was that this is kind of a, a granite-like um, structure, this kind of club-like hand that he has here. So um, somewhat smooth, a very hard surface with some details in it here would be, I think we'll do the job quite nicely for what we want. There we go. So we can continue on with that. We can also take a bunch of different other uh, texture layers here. Let's let's do that. Put another bump map down, and kind of blend between um, some different details in there. So we'll just add that new bump layer on there, and then in my stencils here, I have a bunch of different rock maps again from the Mudbox community in there as well. Um, we can work with something like this, and this will give us. This is an actual rock map and we can start to transfer some of the details over here onto there. I'm going to definitely want a more subtle brush for this. There we go and we can get this kind of gritty uh, look happening in here as well.
And of course, another excellent way to fill in some of that grit, um, we have uh, other stencils here that work really well. We have these nice little pores. So this is an excellent way to kind of pock up the, the surface overall. If I just wanted to add some kind of little pock-like effects in the surface, um, maybe scale that up a bit. And we can just kind of pock the surface up a little bit here. Um, effects like these work great as well up on his kind of on his uh, skull-like head here. We can just start kind of pock up the, the surface a little bit just to kind of break it up. We put it around these rocks in here. Um, fill it in around areas like the nostrils and things like that. Just kind of give it a bit of that beaten up look. And this is the idea. Everything that I'm doing here is just layering over these different details, these different effects. So little subtle things like this and the power of using the layers of course is that I can come back and adjust the overall effect of that, right? If I don't want too much of that effect I can dial that in and out. So you can see I'm bringing some of that detail up or, or I can bring it down a little bit if I want to add to it as well. The nice thing is I can double the opacity or triple. I can put whatever amount I want in there. If I wanted just a little bit more in there I could work with that or I can dial it right down. So let's leave that one at a, uh, um, at a nice hundred for now. And another thing that I should point out um, that is interesting, if we're going to build up some of these little cracks here, um, you can see when we work with our cavity ambient occlusion that we have this nice definition of what's happening. Well, of course, all these little bump effects that we're doing in there, because that is just a, um, you know, a play with the normals in our viewport, we're not going to get that cavity ambient occlusion. It's not um, directly sculpted into the geometry, right? So a couple little tricks that we can do in there. Um, let's work with, I think this is our little crack layer here. Here we go. So just as an example here, I'm going to name this layer here Cracks. And this is the bump map. I'm going to duplicate that layer. So we'll just copy it. And then once I get the copy of this layer, I can just take the copy of that. You can see it's doubling the effect of that bump map on there, that overall effect, which is fine. But we're going to take that and actually drag it up into our diffuse. So remember, we're working with that black paint on there. Let it, uh, let the copy drag up in there. And then what we can do is use that um, as kind of a, a faking of the ambient occlusion, if you can see a little bit of the overall effect happening in there. And once again, of course, we can multiply that effect if we wanted to bring it up a little bit more. You can see the paint on there, the actual uh, paint from the bump map that we're using. So that's just a, a, a nice way to kind of uh, fake a, a little bit of depth on your, your bump there as well. So you can see that we're getting that in there. So as we work, um, it's kind of nice to be able to do that, just to kind of see the, the depth of the details, much like we're using cavity ambient occlusion for, for our sculpting details. Uh, we can use this kind of duplication of our bump map um, to diffuse here as well. All right, we're going to move on to the next video here. In the next video, we're going to take a look at how we can just quickly paint across the entire surface here and build up a rock base or a base map that we can really start to fill in some paint uh, overall on this character. And then we'll put some, we'll take that layer and we'll work with it to build a real subtle um, base layer for some bumping over top of the rocks here as well.